just actually in IKEA properly now, aren't we? I do like these. Where's what? the cupcakes? Oh yeah, cupcakes sell 50p. Where are they? <laughs> so we because the sword's not open till 10, we just popped to the little cafe type place. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. And it doesn't seem busy here at the moment, does it? You can see the car parks. And... I think it was. Um... Or was it? Or was I? It was over last year, beginning of the year, anyway. I know it's been a good few months since we come here last, anyway, hasn't it? Um, but yes, yeah, so anyway, we're just us as us as over there, and it was. It had. It's got a Ninja Warrior thing in there. So that should be pretty cool, wouldn't it? And obviously they've got the. Um, <laughs> yeah, just imagine that. That'd be quite funny though, wouldn't it? There's so many things and you fall in the pool and stuff. I know I know it's quite popular that is. And also we've got Stadium MK Stadium MK which is over there somewhere as well, isn't it? That's where obviously where MK Dons play. Oh it's a trolley free! Oh that's good and you thought for the trolley being free. So yes, yeah, so like I said, we're just gonna see what we can get from them here as well. And the thing is with IKEA, yeah. it's a rather big one isn't it so you can spend a good couple of hours in here as well and they've got like a little restaurant as well so who knows how long we'll be in here we've been out here properly now aren't we i do like these where's well, the cupcakes oh yeah cupcakes sell 50p where are they <laughs> so anyway because the sword's not open till 10 we just popped to the little cafe type place oh, that nice. a nice warm chocolate twist come out yeah. i know yeah. Mm. i know you had a Full English breakfast, only three pound fifty, didn't you? I know, it's cheap, wasn't it? Really cheap. I like these. These no, are good. That, that is that. Oh, is that is that? Showing, showing what it looks like inside the box. I was going to say, if that's like if you buy that, that'd have been nice for my castle. Basically, it's like an IKEA, like an IKEA Lego model. Oh, is it? Mm. I was going to say that would have been nice in there. So this round the kiddie 
section. You are? What a little doll's house. Yeah, just around the kids section now. What are these? These are some little rolling pin things. These are quite soft. Yeah, well, I was saying these would be soft. So you could be right to put in your mouth and things they will be. They're £9.50 they are. You even got some little fruit and veg here as well. What are these things here? Oh look, a little pizza thing as well. So that's what they're like, your little, little, little kitchens. So yeah, some little figures. Not too quite sure what they are. They're, they're £6 as well. Well that's nice, Dan. That's something Ben would like. What does? Oh, that toy truck on there. I was saying, yeah, this is only £15. It's like a like little truck thing you build and you do it down. Yeah, the abacus is. Ben loves his big abacus, doesn't he? Still after finding the big one with a table. Little toy track round here, train track. Little bridge as well. Oh, this one like this thing mean, over here. Yeah, I remember all that thing over here as well. Um, go around this way now, yeah? Any problem, is, any problem is in here, you can easily get lost, can't you? These are any problem in here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Draw, drawable wallpaper. Yeah. These are all like all the stationary stuff. I like that, that's pretty cool. These are a good idea actually for me, for my, um, on my colourings and stuff. Yeah, what else have I got around here, little... That's a nice little, little tidy desk thing there. Scissors, right for scissors. And obviously got like your beads and things. Not quite sure what they are. But yeah, oh, I've got this thing where you're going to come out with, the, well actually spend a fortune because it's quite cheap. But actually come out with loads of things you want. More little bee things down here. Oh, that's pretty good, this little container as well, isn't it? No, I'm definitely alright for colouring pencils and stuff, but I just need something to put them all in. I've got loads of them. So this is something good for Sammy's room, because as like I say, Sam's only in the box room. Something like that, where it's actually got like all the little storage spaces underneath. It's and obviously got a little shelf there. It's only, was it £289? So that's not bad actually, is it? Like that. And even you could have something like this on the wall. For him, a little wardrobe here. That's what well. the only problem is. Like I said, Sammy has just got his bed, his two chests of drawers, and that's about all he can get in his room. So, what's he got round here? Because I don't think he'll want nothing like this, would he? I think he. Do you? I don't think he would. What have they got in here? Oh wow! I like this. Reminds me of when Sammy was younger, he, mum and dad brought him a tunnel for his second or third birthday and he absolutely loved it. And obviously when he grew to Big Short, he kept it when we had the rabbits, they used to love running out of it. What's that one? That one is actually £15 and then the little tent thing's only £12. Yeah, they're quite essential, I suppose, as well, because obviously you can use, probably use that for a dart then or something like that. And you've got like little hammocks up there as well. Yeah, you can see this area is more for little ones. Well, now we said about getting those Caligat units. What about one of these things? Do you think we get more in these? Or do you reckon we get more in the other ones? I think we we'll probably get more in the other ones actually tomorrow. We've just bought three boxes though. And Stephen's just put a little mat in for Ben because Ben, with his cars, he loves laying on the floor, pushing him along. And he'll probably enjoy that with a little mat. How much? Yeah, look, children's IKEA. So yeah, we are in the wrong area. So let's move up. But again, look at those little beds. <laughs> Can you remember when Ben had, was it Ben or Sammy had a Thomas bed? It was Ben, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a pop. And look, <laughs> all the little animals and stuff. So soft, cuddly toys. I like how they've done it though. The room set up. With like the little wardrobes here, the little storage spaces all on the walls. That's giving me an idea actually for Sammy's room. This is actually a good idea actually. It's got to discover more smart solutions inside. So obviously you can tell this is definitely for a kid's room, but 
Again, if you're like in the short of space, you go from the bigger mat there, and then little little drawers and stuff in here. I am tying with actually getting one of those units now, rather than those Colorfax ones, because I think we'll get more of those. So yeah, we changed the mind on the map because you can see that's how tiny it is. Small. It's gone, yeah, it's gone small, so we could get them a bigger mat, I think. So yes, yeah, so we just found this wardrobe we like. If I open it all up, you can see it's got like a little hanger. It's also got like, a little draw space there for like some other bits and pieces. I like the idea of them getting like little boxes. That'd be ideal. So what I'm going to do is, if I take a photo of, of it like this, then I'll know them, won't I? Mm. Because obviously there's no way we'd be able to get that in the car, even in even in the big one actually. To be honest with you, so yeah, I'm gonna do that now. And they've even got like little chest of drawers to match. There's one even the chest of drawers. They've put the little things in here. Yeah, it's quite fun. Oh wow, that's like that. Huh? That one in the middle. That looks nice. That does look nice, doesn't it? 350 quid, it's a bit, it's a bit out of our price range. Mm. It's nice though, isn't it? Again, you can spend the fortune in here. The thing is, it's good because it gives you nice ideas. I could just imagine this in our living room. I like those photo frames, actually. They're quite nice, aren't they? The wardrobe would open though, would you? Would you rather one? I know it's not actually, I know it's not actually open as such, but I mean, you want one that would clear like that, would you? Mm. No. Tell you what I do like. I know it's the price, because like I said, it's out of our budget, but I do like this one because it's a three door one. You've got like shelves in that one in there. And then you've opened this one here, you've got like the hanger, and then you've actually got <coughs> the drawers underneath as well. And I suppose that's a good idea actually, by need, you can separate everything. So um, I've definitely seen a few alike, aren't we? Like said, you can't take these home in the car. <laughs> no, not only that, 500 pounds up for our budget technically for a wardrobe. They do credits and stuff. They do do credits and stuff, yes, you can pay for them monthly, but... What's this one like? Ooh, I like that one with the mirror. Yeah. That's quite nice with the mirror, hello. Yeah, yeah. No, you got more. Oh wow, well, the mirror, no. We're going to look around the rest of this before the whole day disappears and we're stuck in all of us. I know, yeah. I've been in here hours already. I know. Tell you what, I have seen loads of things I like. Yeah. seen loads and loads. Bad idea coming to Ikea. If you find loads of things you like, this is the problem. It's like this over here. I like this. But you don't like, like the open, do you? I think that would look nice in our room. Something like that. Mm. But you want them, you want with the doors on there, wouldn't you? Because your clothes will get dusty. Yeah, okay, I suppose so. Yes, yeah, so we're just into the area now where all the photo frames and stuff are, aren't we? Um I, ca I can't remember what size they were now. Is that the size were they? Is that the size of them? I don't think now it's five by seven. I thought they had a weird size to them. Again, for 75 people. 75p for a photo frame, you can't complain, can you? Really? I know I want a nice big one, because like I said, we got some really lovely photos from Butlins that I want to print out. I just want to put them into a really nice, lovely frame. What, you found some? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're good. Oh, yeah. They're nice sizes, aren't they? But it would be nice to actually have um, like what they wear on them. This plane. That's a big photo size frame now, isn't it? I forgot around here. I like these pictures, one with the circus on, one with the seaside. Oh my god, that end one looks like buttons. It does, I was just thinking that actually. Mm. How to bake pumpkin soup. <laughs> okay, how to bake blueberry muffins. That's what I'd actually go. They're two I oh, get two for twelve pounds. That's a good idea actually, isn't it? Oh, I've got around here. Is it just the same ones? Yeah. They're the ones that actually do you like them on the deer. Oh yeah, there's something else Sam would like actually. New York, one of London. It's so one thing I'm looking for is a big washing bag or a basket. So if you use the one after the washing down. 
There you go, darling. But these ones are not bad, actually, are they? £9, £17. Or even look at that one, that one's bad. That's only £3. Mm -hmm. Now it's got... You're going to get much in that. Not going to get much in that, am I? These are all right, they're for £9. Not like sure. them. They're just here, aren't they? Mm. That'd be a... Yeah. And they're quite... They're not plastic either. Mm. They're right, actually, they will be, won't they? These bags over... These aren't wash bags over here, are they? Things, they haven't got a price on those ones, they'll have those ones. Yeah, so now we are in Asta. I can't believe it was an IKEA two and a half hours, darling. I think you could easily max out a credit card in there, though, couldn't you? Just saw loads and loads of things I would like, so I'm um, going to have to see what our priorities are, what we really want the most, and then go from there. But yeah, tell you what, it's certainly changed since it's last in here, hasn't it? If I turn you around, we've got like a little food market type of place down there, aren't we? Oh, what are they? Are oh, they just some um, um, hang new street foods and stuff? They give a little curry. Oh, those pizzas look nice, don't they? They look really nice, those pizzas. Yes, yeah, so we're just coming here basically for some to look, so for lunchtime, aren't we? So go McDonald's or somewhere like that. They go, we go, food to go. Sausage rolls, steak and potato slices, Cornish pasties. You can look ham and cheese paninis, chicken for tikka. What else have got here? Hot and spicy wings, maybe? No, what you don't want? The fancy sandwich or something? Yeah? So, yes, it's certainly changed big time in here. I remember this used to be the Asta Walmart superstore, didn't it? Yeah, yeah like I said, this used to be absolutely huge. Well, it's only huge now. Well, so obviously, I think they've just changed it slightly, but like they put all the street food in. They took it out of house, haven't they? Off it elsewhere. So we don't need no food. We don't really need an awful lot. So, any one of the shops of the Asda was the Ash. What is the Asda Rewards Cash Park? I'm not quite interested, aren't you? Was you get 35p? Get 35p from them or 75p from them? These are different, now, aren't they? We've got Crunchy Bites, Heroes, Dairy Milk Classic. Orange sensations, and you've also got the tubs of sweets in there for four pounds as well. So, yes, yeah, so we just want some sweets, really, and something for lunch. And they're different, aren't they? Wherever they are, have they got that book in here that Sammy wants? What Stephen found? Oh, typical, find yourself something to do with Liverpool. No, what else they have? Here we go. This is what Sammy wants, the baddies. It's a new book for Julia Donaldson. So I might get that and put that up for him for Christmas, I think. Might as well start shopping. Get a few bits of Nampitas now when I can. Um, what else have I got here for him? Tell you what, they used to have a really good range of CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays and games in there, didn't they? Kind of, kind of the I do the miss the old days. I do, actually. Um, well, they've got any games here at all. I don't think they have, have they? All the mobile phones and stuff here. Now that got round here. Pepper Pig? No, they haven't actually, have they? Hi. So yeah, so the clothing range used to go right back, didn't they? Cool, cool. Was it? Is it still called George? Yeah. Is it still called George and stuff? I'm not too quite sure actually. Anyway, one we'll put down to the got down near the home rare range. Oh, sure. What's he found? Oh, the game, oh, games, okay, games moved over here. This is just looking at, also looking at the Lego sets, because obviously this is what Sam is asked for for Christmas, is Lego. And obviously he wants a new tablet as well, but we said no for that. This is what, yeah, obviously he's into the Speed Championship. Yes, that's one he hasn't got. It's not too bad, actually, for £18. He also is into the Lego Ninjago as well, but does it? Okay, but I mean, I used to have got one up there at the top but I'm not too quite sure how much that one is so I just got this book anyway that will start for him for Christmas yeah they're going the Disney ones here as well have they well they've, only, well they've only got those ones that one and they've got also the Avengers ones there they're not bad actually for £9 are they we've got this one here for 35 oh how cute do they look look little soap dispensers they're £4 each and they've got little stitch ones there. 
got a little stitch um, bath mat as well. And you've even got a Mickey Mouse shower curtain there too as well. Here we go, yeah, I found them. Look, the Mickey Mouse cups are six pounds and the little Eeyore cookie jar. This is what I was looking at. The Randy Poo um, didn't say it, but Steam said no, because we recently bought some, haven't we? I'm not allowed to get any, but how cute do they look? Do you think so? Oh, what are these? These are some little... Oh, wow, I like these... Pa oh, wow, I've got these pasta bowls. Oh, no, no, I like them for £3. I think they're quite cool as well. So you've got weed a poo, a stitch, and then you've got some um, Malice Wonderland ones there, and then some Mickey Mouse the ones. Boys are home from school. Ben's just tucking into his... Um, what did I have to put you in there? What did I have to put you in your bowl? Mm. Oh, some button, some mm. uh, buttons. Uh, I, I sent that in to school this morning. It's just trousers and stuff. But obviously, he's got through them all. Unfortunately, those new nappies he got for Ben, they're not the greatest. They um, constantly leak all the time, don't they, Ben? So I need to find you some more things you can have that... Um, nappies that hold it and stuff like that so yeah anyway, you had a good day you had a good day yeah you had a good day what's your nice if you could tell us what you've done today i think it's wednesdays i think they do like all their planning processes and stuff where they're planning for the school um christmas play aren't you you're doing lion king aren't you this year yeah I'm doing one as well. You what, sweetheart? I'm doing one as well. You're doing one as well, aren't you? You're doing Lion King as well, aren't you? The whole secondary part of the school are doing Lion King, which will be interesting, actually, because especially we can go and watch it this year as well. That'd be, that'd be fab if we could. So, yeah, so, you have been out today. You've been out today? Or you've been in your classroom today? You've been in, oh, yeah, I think Wednesdays is the day they stop in, isn't it? But who knows? We'll have to wait till you teach her to email properly, won't we? What? I do feel so tired, actually. So, anyway, how was your day at school today? Alright. What have you done at school today, anyway? And there's been. I know what you've done at school because Charlie's already sent an email. What's, what's he done? Oh, yeah, we did about the Lion King. How's she been doing apart from Lion King? Um, just been chilling. Just been chilling, yeah. That's all you say is chilling, don't you? So, was. I to take you back to an old blog when mum used to ask you questions. Do you used to respond to it? The thing is, he's playing on his game. Oh, this is just a teenage hormone. I think it's a teenage thing. How was school? Oh, okay. A typical teenager. Hello. So, anyway, how are you getting on with your game? Just proves the point. All teenagers act alike. Of course they do, yeah. Of course they do. Anyway, how are you getting on with your game? Yeah, that's the thing. We was we was um, watching something on the TV. He come in from school, straight onto his game, turned it over without telling us, didn't he? Mm. Oh, I don't mind him playing on his Xbox though, actually. So, so. What did so, we get on the TV on an afternoon? The same old thing. Tenable. Full point. Exactly. We've got Sky, mm. but half time there's nothing on there, is there? So, what is this actually? I know this is Disney Castle. Well, it's not like Disneyland Adventure though, is it? It's totally different to this sort of thing. But at least you're enjoying it anyway, aren't you? And are we swimming tomorrow? Yeah. Yes, I've been running back. Make sure you've got your kit ready, haven't we? Yeah. And we're swimming on Sunday as well, aren't we? Yeah. We get, we're swimming with um, Auntie Michelle and Zach on Sunday, all right? And Toastable. A Toastable, yes, darling. Oh, well, well done, you just complete the challenge day. You're supposed to get five bananas and Simon's end up getting six. So you carry on playing your game, and all right. Well, SG fam, yeah, that brings Wednesday's vlog to a close. And I never thought I would spend two and a half hours in Ikea earlier on. Cheryl was just, she was like drooling. She was like drooling all over the place, weren't you? I couldn't help you. We only went in there for some ideas for our wardrobes. But yeah, yeah I've seen... New TV unit I like to down here. I've seen some units to be nice in Sammy's room, some units to be nice in Ben's room. I yeah. even saw some nice units for my Lego and my um, classic collection thing, my Disney. Disney, Disney uh, dolly things. They're not dolly things, they're and, the, and um, antique, antique statue things. <laughs> antique statue things. They're the, they're the um, 
Yeah, but we saw a nice decent unit to go into Sammy's room to get rid yeah, of yeah. all of, just basically declutter his room and get rid of uh, what's in there. Basically everything can go on one big massive unit which can put his yeah. telly on yeah, and put his clothes. Well. It's basically it's like, got these like boxy type drawer things on it, isn't it? Yeah, they're like these square deep boxes that go into like these square square holes, isn't it? The thing is, we was going to get one today, but unfortunately, we looked at the box. Even though <coughs> they look quite small, they weren't fitted in the car, so we had to order everything all online, aren't we? Yeah, I wanted a new computer table in there. I saw today, and uh, I would not have got that in the car. I mean, if I would have got that in the car, I think the back wheels would have fell off, wouldn't they? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the um, IKEA furniture is quite reasonable. It was and well it packed, I tell you. The uh, chair we bought earlier on today, a strong box, didn't it? It did, didn't it? Yeah. And uh, Sammy's going to show off the new chair. What's it like, Sammy? That's very nice. As you can see, yeah. It was much easier and nicer to put together. And it was only £90, would you believe? And looking online, these were going up to like 200 to 229 pounds for a computer chair so that replaces our old computer chair which we've had now for like 10 years or so in it shall and uh, the result of the old computer chair now it's sitting outside and as you can see that is why i've had to replace the computer chair yeah so tomorrow We've got to go up to the tip and get rid of all this rubbish for Ben's old trampoline bits. And, um, yeah, so, anyway, I'd like to say a big thank you to Sophie for joining up with the membership. Hey, Cheryl. Yeah, we thank you, Sophie. You didn't have to do that. Join up. Just there. Please, if you want to join um, our channel for membership, it is in the description link below, isn't it? Or yeah. above, whatever Stephen wants to put it. Mm. So yeah, um, no, the link is down below under every video anyway. Is it down below the video? Yeah. So yes, yeah, so you didn't have to do it, it's just a voluntary thing. Obviously we're not going to make people to pay um, to watch our videos. Well, I know some people only do members only videos, but then you watch us because you like us and we feel that you shouldn't have to pay extra to watch, really, should we? Well in time I will be doing channel members only live, live streams. streams. Yeah, and um, that's when you will be able to talk in a easier way it, it is definitely yeah. yeah but like i said we're done with the channel membership um we'll do a birthday we'll do a birthday shout out or if you just want a random shout out we'll do that for you yeah. if you've got like special occasions and you also get like the little emojis yeah. which are all theme park based aren't they which i think they're pretty cool yeah yeah, with the channel member live streams, at least you're about to have a proper talk without having like moderators in the room protecting you from the uh, you know what, say, Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you because know, you know you know what live streams are like when you get, you know what I mean. Yeah. Anyway, tonight is Champions League night one and Liverpool versus Napoli at seven o'clock this evening, and um, yeah, it's going to be a tough old ride all the way to the World Cup, especially being. Every week. You were quite surprised, weren't you? But Chelsea sat there, mind you, weren't you? I was so surprised. Cheryl goes to me, Chelsea have sacked Thomas Tuchel. I said, no, really? Mm. I thought Brendan Rodgers would have gone first at Leicester, but no, mm. Chelsea have sacked Thomas Tuchel. And he's really the top one, I think. I was really surprised. Now that scares me, because he's a German manager. Well, that means Klopp gets kicked out if he loses anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, German and German. Because I read up somewhere, when he was in his seventh year, at Mines, he caused them an issue, and then seventh year when he was at Borussia Dortmund, he caused a problem as well. So it doesn't sound very promising, does it? It doesn't, does it? But yeah, Champions League tonight. So anyway, thanks very much again for joining us again today, guys. Channel members will have their name on the end screen in just a moment, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for Thursday, is it, Cheryl? Tip run tomorrow. Yeah. And I also might like see them take me to be in there and record their Christmas bits. Bye guys. Bye.